right, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's moto vlog is gonna be about the power of routine. Routines, man, routines. Um, I used to, well, I'm, I'm a guy who really, really enjoys routine. Uh, in college and when I graduated college, I was just a machine. I would go to the gym in the morning, eat breakfast afterwards, you know, go to class, go to work, go back to the gym, and sleep. Man, it was nuts. And I saw a lot of improvement in my body, in my studies, in, in my hobbies, because I had a routine. Like, I always had a set time for everything, you know? I had a set time, well, it wasn't like to the minute, to the second or anything, it was like, you know, it was just a general framework. Like, no matter what time I woke up, I'd wake up and then immediately after that, I wouldn't dick around or anything. I wouldn't go, you know, grocery shopping. I would go to the gym. And then after the gym, you know, I would, I'd be pretty hungry because I ate or I just lifted on an empty stomach. But, you know, I would go and find something to eat or I'd do something productive, like I'd do my grocery shopping. I would go ahead and, you know, do any of the conference calls or emails that I had to do. I'd do all of that, and then I'd go have breakfast. Um, and then I'd go to class, go to work, do whatever I needed to do, and then eat dinner, um, snack in between, you know, lunch and, lunch and classes and stuff like that. And after lunch and classes, I'd eat, and then, like, I'd have my definite dinner, and then after dinner, I'd either have the option of, you know, going to the gym or doing one of my hobbies you know so really a routine at the very base of it this mono vlog is about it's about time management we only have so much time in this life and the way that I use time most effectively is when I have a routine through which I use time like because it's those unstructured days, it's the weekend where you're just lazy, um, that nothing gets done. And it's that, that idea, that exact idea that I just said, it's the weekend where you get lazy. And it's just this, this stereotypical idea that on the weekend, you shouldn't do anything. But no, that, that, that's, that's, not, not, that's not the right thing. Like, if you want to relax, then relax. But the weekend or your day off should not be the time that nothing gets done. You should be using that time constructively to figure out like, hey, I've been meaning to do this thing for the past couple weeks, the past few days, the past couple months. Let me go ahead and tackle a big chunk of it on my day off. So that's that's typically the way that I think. I don't, I don't like having days where I just don't do anything. Um, because I, life is too valuable, time is too valuable to, to just, to just not use your time constructively, to not be doing something, to not be learning something, to not be building relationships, you know. I mean, of course it's cool to just Netflix and eat garbage and, you know, do that. You know, that's, there's a certain time for that in life. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm just saying do it in moderation because time is so incredibly valuable and I want you guys to feel like you've used your time constructively. You've, you're actually spending the time that you're gifted on this planet wisely. And, you know, the best way that I do that is through routine. And now, ever since I moved back to help out my family, and ever since I moved to this new location that I'm at right now, I've kind of thrown routine out the window. Um, for one, I work 40 hours a week, but those 40 hours are not nine to five, Monday through Friday. I get two days off a week, and my shifts change every single week. Some days I could be working at seven o'clock in the morning, other days I could be working at, you know, from, like today I'm working 1 to 10.30 or other days I can be working 5 o'clock in the morning to 2 p.m. or you know 11 to 7.30 you know all of my shifts are out the window but that doesn't mean I can't have routine 
And that's really what I want to get into is even if your life isn't super structured like mine is, you can still get into a good routine that pushes you to be a better person. Routine, it, it makes, it turns like, it turns lazy people into productive people. And it turns productive people into amazing people. Like, that's what routine is. And right now I feel like I'm in, I'm in the lazy category. I'm a lazy person because I've fallen off my routine. I just need to get back on the bandwagon and get back to productivity. Um, because I want to be an amazing person again. Uh, but really, it feels like I'm not using my time wisely. So, I'm kind of talking to you guys about it today because I've reflected on my lack of self-discipline and my lack of routine um, the past couple days in this holiday season. And I've been like, man, 2016 really rolled by pretty quick. You know, what happened? And really what happened was I got promoted at work. I have this new position, 40 hours a week. You know, it's all over the place. And I don't have like that time for my hobbies anymore. I don't have that time to work out, or at least it feels like it. Um, and that's, that's a huge thing, your perception of time. A lot of people say they're busy. A lot of people say they don't have enough time. But in reality, you make time. You can either get up at the crack of dawn at five o'clock in the morning when your alarm goes off, or you can get a you can get up at seven or nine o'clock and snooze your alarm clock for two hours. You know what I mean? Like, it's tough. It's tough because I don't know where you're at in life, but I know my position. I'm constantly hitting that snooze button right now, and you know I'm not juggling a lot of things. I have I have YouTube and I have my day job and I have a girlfriend. Um. But I find myself just on YouTube all the time, just watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix, like binge watching TV shows, just not being productive and not being a good of a person as I could be. And it just sucks, man. That was kind of a, a ballsy split right there. Um, but I don't feel like I'm as constructive and as productive as I could be. It feels like I'm consuming more than I'm producing. And you know, that's not a good spot to be as a YouTube creator. Because I want to be producing for you guys. I want to grow the channel. I want to see where this takes me. But my routine is, it's shitty. Like, when I first started this, I was doing a moto vlog every day. I was posting it every day for you guys. And I got off of that routine. And now look where I am. Like, it's been, I think, like two weeks since I did my last moto vlog. It feels really crappy because I know you guys enjoy it. I know you guys watch and it sucks. I've been bad at my routine and hopefully I can get back on it. Hopefully I can get you guys into some other, you know, into some other hobbies during this season of my life and as we roll into the next year. And I don't know, I'm just kind of telling you guys like, hey, I want to get onto a routine. I want to be a better person. And this is kind of like my accountability video. Because I haven't been accountable. I've been watching too much videos on online. I've been I've been being lazy. I've been lazy. I've been driving my car more and you know I need to get out of my comfort zone and just push for new territory. And I think getting back on a good routine is the way that I'm gonna do that. And I think you guys are really going to benefit from it. I'm going to benefit from it. And, you know, I can't wait to see where this goes. But, there's a, there's a thing I saw on Reddit the other day. Um, there are three things you should be investing your time into. A job that makes you money. A hobby that keeps you fit. And, you know, something that will get you to learn new things. Because you need money to live, you need physical fitness to live better, and you need knowledge to keep life interesting. 
in like it was this little triangle I'm sure I missed something or I butchered something but you know it feels like I've just been focusing on the work part of things I haven't been doing a hobby that makes me fit and I haven't been striving to learn new things and man it feels like my life has just gone stagnant you know and of course I can easily remedy that with you know more discipline but I know you guys are in a certain part you're, you guys are in a certain spot in your life where you guys are probably you know watching my YouTube videos or watching moto vlog videos in general and saying hey I want to do that I want to be creative I want to be physically fit I want to earn more money you can do that you just have to do it one day at a time you have to do it one day at a time gosh my words you have to do it one day at a time and really focus on what you're doing and set set yourself up for success by making a schedule and sticking to it if you say you're going to do something then do it because you're the only one in this world who's really going to keep yourself accountable because other people they're going to let you off the hook they're going to let you slide but really you know if you're in the situation that i'm in where i'm feeling bad for myself like ideally that's the best point to be to kick yourself in the ass and get work done you know because really life is too short there's not there's too much to be able there's too much to experience and not enough time too much to learn too many people to laugh with and really like like damn uh, I want I want to do good for you guys I want to help you guys and you know routine can make people or it can break people like when you get off of a routine like I did it sucks because you get super depressed you're like what the heck what is going on why am I doing this why am I not looking as good why am I not feeling as good well one because you're eating like garbage you're sleeping like crap and you're not working out and most of all you're not happy because you're not learning anything new every day so like as long as you put routine into your life and as long as you fill that routine with good things you don't fill it with oh I'm gonna watch Netflix for three hours this is the time that I watch Netflix for three hours or this is the time that I play video games for two and a half hours or this is the time that I do drugs or smoke pot like if you don't don't introduce any cancer into your routine because that cancer will quickly undermine everything that you've worked so hard for it'll put you into this negative mood it'll stop the rest of your routine from rolling and I think that negativity for me was work I started seeing work as work I used to love going to work I used to love like seeing my staff and teaching them new things and then my new boss is like a real asshole so um, I stopped enjoying work and I guess that's when I stopped like moto vlogging I guess that's when I stopped you know working out last year you know there's there's points in my life where I stop stop my routine and I think now that I look back it's it's because of work and I guess I just need to change my mentality about work or find a new job because honestly like I am capable of so much and you're capable of so much too like I make these moto vlogs for you guys but we are capable of so much and anything that can get you off of your routine is not worth keeping around in your life so if you have that negative thing if you have like drugs or alcohol addiction or if you have you know man if you just waste too much time on Netflix or HBO or whatever whatever your vice is just try to try to get introduce less of it into your routine and eventually keep in mind that you want to get rid of it because that for me for me my bad routine the thing that gets me into trouble is naps and negative work um, when I go into work and I'm tired and you know I have a bad day at work all I want to do is sleep and before I go to work I want to sleep because it takes a lot out of me and that negativity is work and it manifests itself in naps 
in poor sleeping habits. And you can't be, you can't do anything else when you're sleeping, just like you can't do anything else when you're working out. So, I mean, like, every opportunity in this life costs something. This, it's actually a, a term used in economics, opportunity cost. If you're doing one thing, you're missing out on something else. And if you're watching Netflix for three hours, you're not working out for an hour, you're not going grocery shopping for an hour, you're not talking or getting coffee with that really cute girl for an hour. No, you're just watching Netflix for an hour. So for me, it's not Netflix in this current season, it's sleep. Like, I constantly feel tired because my mind is constantly drained at work. And it didn't always used to be that way, which really sucks. I used to have an awesome routine. And you can have an awesome routine too, and I can have an awesome routine. We just have to get back on it and be vigilant and keep each other accountable. Um, you know, maybe later on in the week, maybe tomorrow I'll talk more about my routine and stuff like that. Um, I've done this mono vlog like twice already. It's hard because like, Routine is such a is such an important part of my life, but it's something that I just do. That's something that I just used to do. I'm not used to talking about it openly, you know. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If this makes it on the internet, it makes it on. If it doesn't, I'll probably end up trying to record it again. Um, but anyways, guys, I'll probably end up posting this because it's the first moto vlog that I've actually done in like a week, two weeks. So I'll post it for you guys. And I'll post one for you tomorrow. I think I have one. I have one that I need to edit, but you know, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, into the project, like man, I really appreciate it. Man, I really appreciate you. And um, you know, if you want to drop me a like, give me, go ahead and give me a like. And if not, that's fine too. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and until next time, this is No One's Watching, peace out.